Engine. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Picnic basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. Hello, anyone I'm here watching now or later? Helene here along with... Akir! And welcome back to Darksiders 2 Definitive Edition. This time with the freaking controller in use. <laughs> and hopefully also with the game now running better than this before. This is the tale thus far. The cauldron was cold, but the horsemen rekindled its fire. And in the hearts of the makers, an ember of hope was born. Hope for life, and for what lies beneath the earth. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to do that with the latest event every time. Now, let's see. Okay, I kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. I need it. Okay. Small drop to 55 frames there for a second, but that's just standing still. Hmm. Yeah, I really... I, uh, se I set the game... Actually, I might as well double check it now. The game should be having priority in the processor. So, let me see. Where is it in here? There it is. Uh, priority... Oh, it reset that. Okay, so... Okay, now it's set as a high priority. So, it should run somewhat better. Okay, now it, now it's stuck at C. I, I should do that for every game in the future. That I said in the task manager, I set it to a high priority. Oops. Yeah, that's a lot better already. Never mind. I was saying it looks damn good that then the stuttering started. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, last time we arrived to this place, and okay, there was a sudden. Okay. Okay, that is a noticeable glitch. Hmm. Uh, if things get too bad with this version of the game, I might go back to the original version. Just because, yeah, that should run a lot better since it's older and should have less uh, yeah, requirements, so to speak. And then let's just. Have a day. What mm -hmm. Don't, don't be wrong if the older version works better. Yeah. Uh, often that's because uh, some remakes are made by other uh, companies other than the original ones. Uh, give me a moment. Uh, okay, up in Turkey's volume on my end. There yeah, we go. I have no warning sign for it being made black. And the graphic looks good. There's no pixelation and anything. It just. Starters sometimes. Just now it's think... not starting. Okay, I can't really see that because when I click to the game, it's it hides the uh, streaming preview on Discord. And speaking of, I did some I did some looking around into sharing the view from my monitor instead of from an application, but apparently, it, oh, there was a new weapon. Apparently, Discord has it so that. Yeah, it just doesn't stream audio whilst you're doing that. I am still looking into other options. Apparently, there is a way to sort to sort of do it. Uh, in a, not not really sharing your screen, but I could I could share the feed that is coming from OBS to Discord, but uh, technically that doesn't give the on, that doesn't give the audio output from the stream. So I'd have to. Yeah, I'd have to figure things around a bit in... let's see, whip, up, down. I'd have to figure things around in the uh, voice meter to, yeah, split off the audio to go to the stream and to Discord at the same time. And, okay, these aren't exploding on their own. Okay, then we just do that. Was that supposed to be a dwarven version of uh, Atlas? Or a maker version of Atlas? Possibly. Either way, we got our ball, we got our pits, just put one in the other, and Dude, we're done with this. Here's the thing, do you know how strong they are, and how big they are? 
I will not be surprised if the green border is just four. <laughs> you just think of the Sc Scotsman of throwing logs and you get the yeah, idea. Yeah. Impressive feats of strength, though. I've got to imagine it strains your muscles to a point that would damage them. Okay, just a uh, over. Are they going to continue the carrying imagery? Okay, I heard something other than dust, I think the name of the crow was. Let's double check. Yeah, dust. Okay. Yeah, overall, it seems that what I did has helped with running the game smoother. Sounds familiar. Right? I just my tea. I think I might burn my tongue a bit. Uh, too early with getting something out of the machine and more of these pests. Gone. What? No! Hey, yeah, no! 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 I don't make tea in the air fryer! Uh, D, I, I thought you, uh, I thought, I thought you meant you, uh, your food was too hot or something. It's my cup of tea. <laughs> okay, yes. I mean, I may know if you get try to make tea in an air fryer. I have to ask for disaster. I get the feeling at least someone has tried that. Uh, uh. Okay, uh, we did pick up something earlier. It's oh, actually a little bit better. And okay, th those look good. <laughs> a lot better, a bit, actually, as well. A bit unsure about this fork, uh, forking on the tip there, though. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, th these look very good, if you ask me. But oh, yeah. we Ooh, we good. want uh, we want stats over appearances. Like th this isn't an MMORPG where half the time we're working on fashion stuff instead of stat stuff. <laughs> and battle run. What would be good if I just heal up a bit? Show off. Okay. Something's. I'm guessing we need to be a specific distance or angle to these things to be able to execute them. Because I keep pressing, I keep mashing the button too, but it just doesn't seem to work. Okay. Didn't see that one coming. Okay, yeah, once they rear back, you dodge. Okay. Journeyman Helm, one of the last journeyman treasures. This warrior's helmet was forged by the Black Hammer eons ago and given to his brother Thane as a special gift. So, Ooh. okay, Thane is... <laughs> Thane is Ulthane's his brother. Okay. There we go. It also works. Oh, hello, you're, you're an ugly thing. You're a crab, a bow. <laughs> My, what teeth you have. <laughs> oh, oh, I missed that. Almost dodged into that. Okay, ow. So we didn't believe really picked up another potion in this same room. Okay, dodge back. That sound it makes sounds familiar. Nope. Ow. Still some of our health back. And 
There we go. Okay. That was a bit more than I expected. But it looked like it was freaking dissolving alive there. More loot. I mean, we might as well immediately check it out. Let's see. Um, Unending Fury from Wrath Generation is increased for a short period after using Teleport Slash. Okay. That true incarnation are peers unleashing a spinning side attack that devastates surrounding foes. That sounds good. Of course it sounds good to be... <laughs> Let, let's just plain get it. And let's see. They're, they're a higher rarity but do less damage. So they do add shock damage. So that, my plan. That, actually, that actually stacks up for more damage total. Ooh. Okay, that 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 also is a good design. And these also do just more damage. Let's see, fit with eight, fifty, fifty-eight. <laughs> okay, this looks like something out of Warcraft. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Okay, we didn't actually get anything from that except for loot I think. So what else is that to find? There's a chest on the minimap. Hmm. I think when the dog side games are it's slightly Warcraft-ish in design, but it's also its own thing. Yeah. And, oh I missed a giant ass hole in the wall. <laughs> Let's see. New secondary weapon. Is that going to be stronger? Yes, it is. That's a lot stronger than the thing we already have. But let let's take let's use this thing, the Dark Avenger, since it's a different type of weapon. Oh, that is a hell of a lot faster. Okay, that's useful. Okay, and also some new stuff here. It's talisman. And yeah, quest items. Or useful items. Okay, uh, hello. My oh that goes through them fast. <laughs> And I can mix them up together, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm sticking with those. It could also be that, it was, that was easy because we gained a level and so, as such, typically stats overall get an increase and well, stronger main blades as well. Okay, I see two pits for more of those roly poly balls. I see one over there. And where is number two? Somewhere over there, probably. <laughs> Seeing a small dip in frame rate every now and then, but... Oh, the dungeon map. That is, of course, going to be useful. But Ooh. the amount of drop frames is still under 1%. So it's manageable, I'd say. Let's have a look. We climb up there, but it's blocked. We can climb up there, and there's one of those tokens in the middle that Volgrim wants. Let's see. We're going to have to bring explosives here, one way or another. Hmm. We can probably get that ball already. I'm sorry if I got to do something. Uh, which button was it again? Um, not that. What was the button to select? But okay, we can block with these? That is, that is something new. An orange? Yeah, all the while that is supposedly all about not uh, defending or blocking and parrying. 
Okay, the wall run again. Or at least in this case, explaining that you can continue wall runs. But we have we have accidentally pulled it off a few times already, but still good that they yeah, cover it again for a moment. Okay, what was that? There is a way to get into the radio manual. We used it when I was using mouse and keyboard, so how do we get into that with this? Or do we not have access to that? To that? Scroll description. How do I assign these in here? Hmm. Okay, just movements. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything to assign them here. Hmm. Toggles. Okay, how how do we assign our stuff? It's maybe if I just press the buttons that I want to have it used for that. No. Okay, how do I do that then with the controller? And suddenly everything ground to a halt because I just realized something. Hmm. I can use the mouse to click around here. Might probably be better for this. And why is... Okay, the thing we have selected uh, pulses like that. But really, why... Let's see. We can also use that. Um, was it? There we go. Okay, it, that is odd that I have to use the keyboard to get into here. Now let's see. We have A and Y, X and Y. Let's put that on B then. Hmm. Yeah, it, it it probably would have been expla explained before if we had been using the controller, but. Yeah, often it doesn't give, tell how to in the menu itself. Okay. Hmm. There have to be those bombs here somewhere. I'm guessing we... Hmm. Uh, let's look around. In here. Oh god, I don't think I have that idea. Interesting idea. And that be? Imagine an, a spin off game with a full fame or fame or one of the other makers that we encounter. Uh, how? Exa how do you mean exactly? Or. I like a spin off, spin -off if you game with one of them, just. Something like that would be very hilarious when you see them just smash everything with you that time. <laughs> and of course, uh, there are good use of vocabulary of insults. <laughs> you see, what was the old thing called the insult again? Hmm? <gasps> the Seraphim? Full fame. Oh. Am I? Flat hammer. Something might have gone screwy with my audio or something. I had to oh. res I reset stuff with the Discord uh, to try and get something to work, but I didn't. Hmm. Okay. So I'll, now you I'll just up your else. volume on my end for the moment. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're called the Makers. Yep, and I was thinking about the, um, if I, I would be able to see if someone would be able to make a spin-off game with the ma main girls as the main characters. Well, in Genesis there is co-op, and we know that most of the horsemen can be played in that. It wouldn't surprise me if Ulthane might be playable in that as well. Oh, that, I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> He's hilarious and badass. Yeah. I still you love it, what you call angels. Fucking pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
divine pigeons. I wonder what they call demons. They're probably something like rats or vermin. <gasps> Very possible. I think I re remember getting stuck here for a while. Hmm. Because I'm not seeing any explosives around that we can use. And I think I remember feeling pretty stupid when, when I, I finally did find out where to go. Likely after having to look it up. But I'm not seeing an obvious way to progress. We need it. We need those bombs to get any sort of progress over here. But I'm not seeing them anywhere. I think I saw a hole up on a wall. Actually, oh, that, that, that isn't blocked. Okay. Or, and here they are. Okay. That'll make things a lot easier. Bombs away! And there's the other orb. But the gate is closed, so we'll have to grab a bomb, bring it over, and put the other ball in the other hole to make it open up. Hmm. Actually, is that even possible? To... These are these are inert, so can I just climb around with these? Hmm. Let's see. No, I cannot. Can I can I chuck this through the bars? No, I cannot. Okay, now we know where we can't just uh, slip past them. That's a force field. <laughs> <laughs> yes, come on. Yeah, he wants to show off a bit too much. I don't know what that is or where it leads. Oh, hello, lever. Let's see. Yes, he knows how to hold a gun. Maybe we can use those to swing and get over there. Because, yeah, where's a lever? There, there's a way to get to it and flip it somehow. seeing anything on the map of a way to get over there. Hmm. There's nothing for us to gain over there anymore. Sunlight and a piece? Is that something to do with lights here? Or fire? No, it's those... We need to get... It's it's simple still. We need to get the ball over there, but these gates need to go open. Wait, but... hold on. I just saw something. I saw the ray, the, the crow. Yeah, it's up there. I'm I'm Might getting. Be there isn't a sign. There aren't any signals or symbols going from this one to this gate. So they pro it probably won't. If, even if we could get the ball out of the other hole and into this one, it wouldn't open this. I see so what's happening. Do what the dragon is on. You're supposed to climb over them to the level. <gasps> yeah, I I'm, I'm just need to look around. That is what I've basically figured out as well. But we need to find out where we get it up to reach those... Uh, how would you even call them? Art? Not really arch rays. I not tossed you. I thought we tossed you. Come here. We hmm. can't climb up here. Is there anything behind here? What? What's with? What's with the black stuff? Yeah, that's part of the. the <laughs> okay, Death got angry for a moment. That's part of the corruption. Oh, what's it funny? Whatever was the oil or something. <laughs> can get up here and yeah. Okay. 
So this opens that. But if we nope. get off it, it closes up again. Wait, look up. There's nothing overhead to, to get it into place. Unless the lever gives us something that we run down to it. Maybe. Hmm. Is there really no way for us to get up here somewhere? Almost. Wait. Can you do that? By the way? What? But you just did. You, you actually cleaned the wall in a way. And I was wondering now. Uh, okay, yeah, it, maybe... it needs to be smooth though. Or... I very much doubt that this will have an effect of any sort. Yep. Hmm. Okay, how do we hold it down then and still get some uh, get the orb through? It must some be something with a lever. But we need to <gasps> oh, wait, can you think vines? Uh not those vines I'm pretty sure. They those are too frail. Okay, we need something to hold that down. Are any of those breakable, perhaps? Oh, wait. Can you jump from that up to those? No. no. <laughs> That's, uh, does... That is a lot more agile. Okay. But you can only jump <laughs> so high. Hmm. Uh, can I... Wait. Can you jump from the brazer thing you're near here? Actually, I I think I just figured it out. Oh. We, we put this over here. Because we know that those explosives can move those orbs around quite a bit. Ah. Right. Okay. okay. So, I, 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 I gotta be picking the pick it down. Oh, oh how you stay with it. I'm picking up. I'm picking up. What you're picking down? Oh, uh, yeah. I can't believe. I'm. I'm picking up what you're putting down. That is the way. It... Now we do this and that, and there we go. Just gotta know how to use the objects that you're given, or the tools that you're given. Now it's sad. I hope they would roll right into the hole. You know, like a hole in one. But that would just be in there. Perfect. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the makers play golf with these things. <laughs> Need a bit of a drink because my parent, I think I felt my lip tear a bit or something. <laughs> yeah. Don't, probably should be drinking more water anyways. But uh, yeah, we were stuck on that for what, a good five to ten minutes. Actually, six Actually. hours, folks. And I, yeah, I forgot to set the two-hour mark timer. Oh uh, yeah, that's why I still have that clock up there. Though it's out oh. of sight for everyone. That's a statue. The stone on a throne. Yeah. Oh, hello there. And the heck? Oh, it's one of those things. We passed one of those on the way here. And presuming it's some sort of hive. Yeah, it looks like a hive. A living hive. Oh, yeah. Is that a bit of hive mind? Probably not literally. Like, not every bug that lives in a hive shares some sort of hive mind. More yeah, like a hive yeah. structure in general. Like, did you just like, uh, did it take hive and mind into a literal form? These, these things just absolutely smash these things. Oh, hello. Okay, what do you do?
Okay, that little yeah. yoke that opens up the floodgates. The tears of the mountain, I think. Yeah. Because when you're forging stuff, you need to be able to heat things, but also to cool them down. And why the heck are these here? Is there something... I can't see it from here. Is there something blocking the... Oh wait, yeah, of course. But, but yeah, even he Ward could swim with all the heavy metal he was carrying around. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait. Can it less game to go easily die from falling into water? Yeah, that is something that happens a lot in games, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, it is actually happen happening less and less. Yeah. See, oh. it's partially flooding the area. But it isn't going one specific way, so we need to open up another floodgate somewhere. Let's see, there is. A, yeah, there's a chest here. Gimme. Ashgar. new amongst that hmm. you get sword who is that a, a glaive which is basically a sword on the end of a, a spear and a savage axe oh yeah mm, hello you may have had those the uh, uh, in writing or okay Hit the thing. People have written records in rooms of them. And I only figure out the reason you may not found a whole one is because, well, wood rocks and not the yeah. steel blade. So some sorts may have been sword stuff. Or at least we could call them bad arms. Yeah, the, the idea is pretty simple and but effective. Just basically take a sword and stick a stick out at the end of it, or on the non-stabbing end of it. Yeah, the, but I'm not sure how com uh, common it was, but it may be used uh, at least by some. And I only recently even realized that they, my bike even had the pole arms. The eighth gear, which you may have seen in Valheim. Uh, some armor on that, I think. I, I, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Okay, some pauldrons. And. I'm for oh, yeah, that, that's what you were given. I'm forgetting his name at the moment, but it's the, it was the demon guy that we were helping uh, as, with war. Unsure. It says Pawn of the Horseman. I think it's the shoulder guard that uh, War had as well. He actually had uh, one of those uh, heads of one of his shoulders. Actually, a yeah. Smaller, a smaller version, though. More strength, more cane. Uh, let's go with this one. I should probably move. I keep getting distracted by, some, uh, by things popping up on Discord. Or at least my eyes get drawn to it. So yeah, just swapped it to our own channel. So yeah, that that that'll be less visual noise for me to get seen by. Let's see. Why to sp swim down? Okay, that that's that's inverted. That, then again, A is typically the jump button, so making that go up does make sense. Okay, what will we find over here then? Besides another of those medallions. I do like that they remove the pop-up from every time you would find one of those. Because that did get a bit annoying with war. Let's see. Don't think now it's suffering yep. again. And this is a good buy before it started to suffer again. 
Alright. Take me to the right. I don't think it matters much which side we go here. So would that have led anywhere? Okay, that would have led over there, that to a chest. So, okay, let's go down one more time. And grab ourselves some loot. Because the angle of the camera is nudging you to go this way. So it's always smart to go the opposite. Come on, no fun of that. Okay. What have we here? Oh, that, that looked blue. Yo, again, I keep... I'm just going to swap to the mouse every time we're in the menus. Let's see. Grizzly sides less damage, but it does arcane damage and execution chance. And I also forgot to hang something on the door again. Let's see. Nine damage, so that makes 52... Uh, 58. It's more consistent damage, but it's less. But that what is that execution chance? Let's take a look at least. Okay, do, 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 those definitely look like from freaking Warhammer. Warhammer? Warcraft, but Yeah, that's a bit more Warhammer. But sure, I may, you may say something to me, maybe not Warhammer, but not at that scale of size. Yeah, Warhammer stuff, at least for the human factions, would be more ornate, probably. Yeah, they, they, they make many realistic size weapons, and they only make larger than normal weapons to a place that it makes sense for, like for dwarves and orcs. Yeah. Mini boss, by the looks of it. Yeah, mini boss. Or is it just going to be a beast yeah, brawl? Brawl, 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 brawl! Oh, and here comes the big boy. Ooh. Let's just deal with the father first. Okay. We haven't used a lot of wrath ability, so let's try out our new one. Once this. Okay, yeah, that, that look. That yeah, was probably going to be more for AoE attacks. And oh, there you go. I think I finally realized that what they remind me of. Hmm? They look like a humanoid version of a pony dragon. <laughs> okay. With that, I mean the lizards that are spiked and shoot blood from the eyes. Oh yeah, those things. Yeah, I'm sure how that works as a self mechanism, but I'm sure I guess that will freak most uh, pre 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 most predators out. Yeah, and it would blind them. Oh yeah, I, I, oh yeah, you don't want blood in your eyes. <laughs> well, it, well, I guess they bring the, the term tears of blood onto a new level. Through. Let's see. Frame drops have gone up some. We're now at two percent of total, but two percent is still better than we had what we had last time, where it was like five percent. So there are yeah, still some it... dips in the in the stream quality, but not as bad. Yeah, for the last time there was way much more stuttering. <gasps> Let's see. Maybe if I Let's, let me try something else as well, if I can find the correct one with this. Set priority high. Maybe if I set Discord as a high priority as well, that might help with the stuttering. Possible, for so far it has not given me internet warning on the corner. Yeah, so it could be from my end. 
Okay. This court set to high priority now. Oh, six instant, uh, six current running programs of it or something. Yeah, that's odd with some programs if you start them up. That it seems more that they are running multiple versions of themselves or something. And that's just the way back. Oh, that okay. Dipped and FPS dipped again there for a moment. Hmm. Uh, uh, I hit the wrong button there. <laughs> so those two will give us some <laughs> distraction. Ooh. Oh, not much of a distraction apparently. Still enough of one. Yeah, this is, is something that what I mean in execution. Yeah, that's just a. Uh, a finisher. Let's see, skeleton key. I'm guessing execution chance might be to just instantly kill an enemy. But we were only using our gauntlets there. Okay, that was <laughs> that's a neat little combo. Now there's another opening here. And Another token up there. Where do we climb up then? Or is this just the uh, you fell down? No, no, here we go. Not. Let's see. Okay, we need to come from there. But how do we get there? There shouldn't be any other openings in this room. Hmm. Gus, do you Where have you anything to say? It? Okay, uh, he's pointing us towards here, but there's nowhere easy to climb up. Wait, isn't that that monster you want to climb on? But there is wood around uh, things uh, on the wall. I don't know, so maybe you can get up there? Yeah, the climbable walls are more obvious than this. Hmm. Yeah, he just slides back down. So it must be something back here. Hmm. Let's see. Well, oh, another Book of the Dead page. So, not actually use, uh, too useful for our current predicament. It's still nice to have. It's anywhere we can go from up here without falling down. Oh, oh of course, we got the key. Can't grab onto that ledge. The, the gravel ledges are very obvious. Hmm. You gotta wonder, is that? It's uh, with uh, with our B power. It says that it brings out death's true form. But does does that mean that the oh, the arms that he's using? Are those uh, of his? They're probably of his true form as well. But does it mean that he technically has some, his true form available at near all times, like a sort of persona or something, like Shintagami Tensei? And I got the wrong Maybe. button again. Oh well, Roth is easy enough to regain. Okay, elevator, all but the way is blocked, but there are explosives up there. Okay. So we have our A, B, and C points. Now we just have to draw the line between them. Mm. 
Aqui. Didn't see any new... <clears throat> Didn't see any new gear amongst that. So we'll check for any more later. Let's see, that is blocked. So this way then. Yeah, death is so much more freaking agile than war, huh? <laughs> Still our path is blocked then. A pair of boots. Let's see, some gloves we got as well. More defense. A lot more defense. Mm, six more defense. What the heck? Okay, just a text message or something. Six more defense, but no resistance, no bonus experience, but let's put it on all the same. Okay. What to his fingers? And boots with more armor. A lot more armor, actually. Yeah, don't put those on as well. And it, it didn't actually change his fingers, it just uncovered them less. Okay. So, yeah, he always has bony fingers. Which, well, makes sense with death and all of that. It's hmm. another level up, up, lever up there, but that's going to be for the floodgates. There's a lot bigger chance that this mine, this side might be blocked off by crystal. Myself, I'm a bit more surprised that he... Yeah, that, that's his apparently relaxed post posture with his fingers. Like... That looks uncomfortable to remain with the fingers in that position. Yeah, it could be a sort of rigor mortis or death cram. Uh, possible. Easy enough. No. Wait, I think we're under something call? here. You know, you hit the bomb at gunpoint. See? Oh no. The right trigger to shove. Because, yeah, we. We can't actually push it up. But, hmm. Okay. We need to get a better line then, and oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just shove it all over. over. Not just push them over, even. Throwing it around like a freaking football. More like handball. Can't roll it when we're on different elevation. Okay, there we go. And that's actually enough to continue, I think. Though we'll have to get it out again to make it go back up, but we already know how we do that. <clears throat> Pardon? Pardon? Pretty sensitive when aiming like that. I should probably lower that. Might as well now, just quick. Uh, hmm. Not actually in here, it seems. Up oh, here, aim is sensitivity. Let's lower that a, a bunch. <laughs> Still sensitive, but better. Another hive, and more of those things. things. And yeah, stinger hive. What the heck? 
Yeah, just happened there for a second. clear. Actually, we probably could have just walked right past that, but okay. Open up the other half. But this one's blocked. Yeah, okay. Sort of was expecting some sort of blockage, but this one seems easy enough to fix. There. Okay, open sesame. It sort of seems like the water starts flowing before the gate even goes up. Hmm. The gate is then probably more a safety measure. It does look... It does look like... A, Nice water. Ooh, yeah. Or clean. Mm, actually, yep, that has flooded this area now. So we can get over here. There we go. And we just go across. And grab our goodies. Hello. Okay, that was required anyways. And now that opens up to give us an easy access back. And yeah, as a bit of an extra incentive, we have this. And for a second, I thought I missed it. Yeah, but I, I, start, I was to say, I think you walked past something. I know you're walking the climbing past something that covered the screen. Yeah, another of the hell medallions that Volgrim likes for some reason. Well, he, he seems to be a common enemy. And now the thing is balanced, and the water is flowing where it needs to. Also, something I just noticed with that statue. Uh, let's see if we can get a better angle on it. Yeah, that looks like one of those elementals uh, from the first game that we were awakening a bunch. The Earth Elementals. Oh. It, it, or at least in the, in the face it looks more like it. Or that might just be me. Yeah. Maybe that's how they were before they got enslaved by demons. True. Okay, one way tickets. Actually, anything in there? Nothing hidden underwater? Because games just love to hide stuff underwater. No. Okay. Next room then. Are we. This looks like a boss. Hmm. Is this a boss arena? Okay, I can already see that. Wake up! Kinos. Yeah, we just we just woke up mama. Okay, she rams the wall. Causes one of these to come loose. Could be. And there we go. Soft on their belly. This down distance. Then she rams and stuns like herself again. I don't really look 
They could be eggs, yeah. Okay, she stuns herself for long. You just get torn straight to pieces. Okay, yeah, we're we're tearing this thing up as well. Uh, what are you up to? It, okay, you're just going to the heck. Okay. Didn't expect that <laughs> to get blind whipped. Blind whipped? Whipped. Blind whipped like in Pokemon, the move. Oh, I know, I know. Just it looked more like one in. Wine's doing a wave to me. Or Dominic like Tolkien. Or Dominic Wine? That people could be into. Almost. And she's going into hiding again. Quick turns with these. Okay, come on. There we go, there's the bomb. Ready? These could be eggs of sword. Set that one there. And yeah, this fight is over. Okay, that, that, that's one way to disembowel something. Let's see. Master of Carquinos. Or, yeah, Carquinos. According to legend, this hammer was recovered from the horde of a mighty sea dragon. This weapon was you know, wielded in savage battle at the fortress of Carquinos. It was several, uh, it was several thunderous blows from the hammer that finally broke down the gate. Named the Master of Carquinos, this... Uh, this Weapon strikes critical blows more often and unleashes devastating critical strikes upon the enemy. Okay. So we have a critical hits hammer. Let's take let's take a look. Let's see, and of course we're on the level for it. Ten strength. Yeah. But keep in mind this thing is slow. And tech typically with critical hit weapons. You want to be able to strike fast because then you are a lot more likely to get critical hits. Yeah, though in this case you are it's probably a bit of a hit and run. Yeah. Do for now yeah, though, yeah. let's stick with the dark adventure because it's so freaking speedy. Then again, with the, the amount of damage, you probably only need one hit. Maybe. Let's get ourselves a wrath potion. Some coin. Shoot the stairs by accident. What has this stair done to you? And open this up. Alright. And again, yeah, we can just fast travel out. Okay. It's a rather fitting name, Drench Fort. <laughs> it is. What you want? And over to Tristone. Oh yeah, right, then. Yeah, it's, it seems that the FPS took a bit of a dip there again. Hmm. So yeah. Still, game still needs some optimization, but as long as things stay around 50-ish, yeah, general, it, oh, they're inside. It should be fine. And I, I have to say, these these bone conduction ear earphones have been really great. I made, they might actually be giving me the <laughs> the clearest sound I've had with basically anything else because yeah, there's 
there's no air or it doesn't go through the air so there isn't any chance of noise pollution of the sound. This is a maker's key, and you had best take it now, before I come to my senses. <laughs> is he more likely to lose them, old one? A problem, aye. But there is also a solution. The Guardian. Meant to be our greatest weapon, and capable of clearing the forest around the tree. But an earthquake drove us from the foundry, and now I fear something else roams within. The Guardian was never finished. If the Guardian is your masterwork, how am I to complete him? In the forest lies another construct, one of the few remaining who have not fallen to corruption. He is not as vast as the Guardian, but his heart is strong. Seek him out, and he will guide you to the Foundry. There, you may activate the Guardian using the Maker's Key. The constructs are awakened by a key. Aye. Constructs do not have a soul like you or I. Not until that soul is given. This key unlocks the stone and prepares it for the ebb and flow of a maker's life force. In fact, it will bring to life most any construct you find in the realm. <laughs> and what makes you think I have a soul, old one? Isn't that what troubles you? How will I know when I've found this construct? Constructs are beings of boulder and stone, animated by a maker's life force. Most possess but a fraction of a soul. Just enough to drive them, and give them purpose. But through others course the whole of a maker's being, his memories and emotions. A story half remembered. Life weighs heavy on us all. Not even stone can bear it. If wardens can resist corruption, why not use them to cleanse your realm? Sadly, the wardens were called when the seals were broken. The Maker's toll to be paid at the end war. This warden is all that remains. Hmm. Then the seals were broken. Okay. Maker's Key. A forged key containing the essence of the Maker's powers. With it, death can activate constructs. And... Oh, now we get access to Reaper Form. The Unstoppable Reaper Form allows death to inflict and sustain huge amounts of damage. Kill enemies with Reaper attacks to gather Reaper's energy. And... Yeah, I'm just going to take a moment. And... Wait, that, that was shadow quality at high? Really? Yeah, there, there seem to be some oddities. It's, yeah, that does... That does not look like high quality shadowing to me, if you ask me. Okay, killing with sight gives reaper energy. Left mouse... Uh, not left, left button and right trigger. Oh, that's a nice sword he's carrying around. That if it is that high? How is it? This, oh, that is that is even worse. Like when well, you did lower it. Yeah, but so you saw already how it was at high with the odd the odd shadows on the characters. Just how can everything else look so good and then? Uh, yeah, just because something is. A, a definitive edition doesn't always mean that it is the better edition. Anyways, anything more to say from you? The forge blazes again, Ryder, thanks to you. But that's no excuse to hang about. Have you not a construct to awaken? Not sure this key is special. Ballas doesn't seem so impressed. Aye, he mourns the loss of his friend. 
That is that a friend? Ach, aye. His great hammer, Splinterbone. It felled many a giant. But Valis lost it in a dungeon west of here, and it weighs heavy upon him. If you can find Splinterbone and return it to my brother, you will earn his gratitude. Mayhaps the forging of a proper weapon. Giant? You, you people are not giants? Why use a key to awaken the constructs? Spirit doesn't pass through stone, unless you carve a channel for it. That's what the key is for. It's sharp enough to slide through the stuff of life. Be careful where you point it. What was Valis doing in a dungeon? We hope to restore the shattered forge within, but it was corrupted and overrun by the sea and vermin. We barely escape with our lives, no thanks to Khan. You let that pup guide you? Aye. At the time, we did not see the harm. But Karn would do anything to prove himself. I fear one day he will go too far. Oh, Valis has been busy. There are new items. Yeah, yeah, what? Okay, this might be partially because of the fixes I tried, but yeah, that just... It looks more like censorship <laughs> blurring than actual correct shadowing. Yeah. I want to comment that, like, four parts of her shadowing looks good, the others, yeah, like that one here, does not. Let's see, Spinalbinder, Nicole. Okay, we could afford one of these. Um, let's first look at selling some of our, our old stuff. What the heck is that face? This should go nicely with the others. Yeah, uh, I didn't see it because my eyes were looking at uh, the merchandise there. But and, yeah. <laughs> is this such a bad or what it looked like this the way? Yeah. Okay, we want to equip that one. And we have no need to sell those. No. We are okay. 21 defense, but we are. Oh yeah, that, that that looks like a stretch of sorts. Let's see, 25 defense and six strength, more gold. Oh, 43 defense. Oh, that is. Let's see. Uh, we have our gold over there. We could buy that and those. Probably not the best idea to go buying better weapons, or to buy weapons in general, when we already have good stuff. Okay, let's, let, let's buy these. Oh, hi, an excellent investment. There we go. That you should give us a lot. You will just past the fjord. The stone father be with you, horseman. What brings you before me? I hadn't even stepped away. <laughs> Okay. I, I swear, some of her other animation probably looks fine when you're not in uh, shopping for her. Then the different angle may look like something else she's doing. <laughs> okay, I'll look up if there's a way to fix that. So apparently, I, I did a quick look while well, see they whilst they were talking. Yeah, I did a quick Google on the uh, phone, and it does. It seems that pixelated shadows are a common complaint, and for some reason the frames are dipping it. Why? Why does the? Why does OBS just not like this area? Hmm. Yeah, and if if things get just absolutely terrible at some point, then I'll just. Yeah, then, then we might move over to the original version. So, I don't think we ever talked to you. Uh, actually, we have. We, he's, we... Let's see, anything else we can get here? We can afford one of these. I during evade, gap closing attack. Uh, let's get that. Aren't you able to give him uh, the helmet you found? 
I think that was the other ones. I can end your troubles, Maker. Well, you're welcome to try. This blade is more ancient than you, Ryder. And taller to boot. I will break it, and you, down to size. Okay. okay, we can go, oh yeah, we, these, these things deal a lot more damage than our sights at the moment. Ow. Yeah, yeah it, it makes sense that he sounds a lot like Ulfain because he's his freaking brother. And he looked like him a little bit. Ow. Okay, he has good reach with that thing. Uh, okay, he, it's not a fight to the death, but okay, we we sort of wasted this health potion there then. Okay, take two. Okay, overhead swing we Yeah. <laughs> kind of flip was that, Dad? Yeah. Sideways, not forwards. There. <laughs> okay. Anything to say now? Well, the battle one should never go unrewarded. You got lucky. Mayhaps I am too old to do this. Age isn't everything. So, you can fight an old warrior, but to earn your name, you'll have to do better than that. Bathia, Akedna, Argyll, these are what we makers call death. You kill them all, and mayhaps I will grant you are the true Reaper. Sounds like a challenge. If I'm to be your executioner, I would hear more of those that I'm to kill. I will tell you what I know. Where can I find Baithir? Baithir and her kind once ranged across the Forge lands, hunting us like cattle as we made this world our home. One by one, we hunted down and slayed the fell beasts. But Baithir, she made herself a deep burrow and slithers out only to feed. I only know that she's a beast of fire and smoke that she's made a lair beneath the earth. What of Gorwood? <sighs> Once, Gorwood was a friend to my people. Then why seek my aid? Corruption has taken our forest, and Gorwood is a being of that old wood. Where one goes, so goes the other. Gorwood is filthy with corruption. He must be put down. Even I know the name Echidna. Why do you seek her death? An old debt, forged before your time. All know the Shadow Realm of Echidna. Why do you not travel there and kill her? I have tried, only to find her realm in chaos. The Spider Lords had bathed her throne in blood, and Echidna was nowhere in sight. I spent years following her trail to the realm of the dead. Then, all this happened. I returned home to my people left old debts unpaid. Tell me about Argyll. Ah, a madman, a beast in need of killing. I had sight on the deed myself, when the current Lord of Bones rose up and defeated the mad king of the undead. Then Argyll is no more. My bones have always told me otherwise. The old king lives. I'm sure of it. Okay. Another side quest to kill these three. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to see if we do that or not. Hmm. For now, though, that I keep pressing the wrong button there. Map. Let's see. Where do they want us to go this time? There. Oh, wait, is that back? 
No, no, that's the, that's the return point to Drench Fort. And where is this? There. The Lost Temple and the Nook. Okay, didn't know that Tom Nook had a, <laughs> had a shop here. I can fast travel over there and cut down on travel time. <laughs> All right then. And yeah, I just did a quick look. I, it seems that there are some possible fixes for that shadow problem, but we'll have to look into that after the stream. Because, yeah, we stream for gameplay, not for yeah, technical, you know, <laughs> technical work. Oh, it's the input story. Seems we are ran what could be loaded there for a moment. Oh, he hello there. Um, you all right over there? <laughs> You don't mind me smashing your pottery. Open your weapon. And okay, what? Oh, it's a construct. You can activate and then. Oh, it, okay. And right trigger to fire the worker's chain. Okay. Eh. And then we can get on and over. Okay, that is, that is cool. I, I'd forgotten about that. Okay. Bunch more corruption crystals. Also, we picked up a new type of weapon, I think. Let's see. Claws. Fast. Deal with more damage. A lot more damage. Doesn't give us defense, though. Hmm. Let's Wait. try them out for a bit. Oh, okay, those those look nasty. Uh, do you remember when I told you you were about the weapon Qatar? Uh, yeah, those would be like that, I presume. It. Okay, yeah, some lighting yeah. change. Let's see that. Yeah, the angle of the blow is bit winged. The blade should be more along with the finger, not the not a big middle finger. There we go. Yeah, these things cut up as well. <laughs> okay, what is going on with the freaking lighting here? We're keeping these claws. I love the music. <laughs> yeah, very Celtic. Yep, the, the music is a lot more... Look at this. There was a, a health bar there for a moment. The, the music is a lot more notable you know, in this game than it was in Dark Shadows 1. I can't actually recall hearing much of the music of uh, Wars game. Could be that it was a lot more subdued. And let's take a look at those. It's a bit of health, but less defense and other things. So let's not with those. Hello, treasure. Yep. Armor piece. Oh, come, come on, it's, <laughs> it's better than the thing that we spent like 4,000 gold on. <laughs> Looks good too. Okay, I'm hoping this shadow thing isn't going to be a consistent thing. This is only like the second place that there have been some weird shadows and we do not want to go down there. Let's see. Can't... Very obvious things sticking out in my face, and I overlook it, of course. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, e even if we get to the end of the game and the uh, things would start getting really fucky with uh, everything, uh, I I'd still consider moving to the or or yeah, original version, if need be. No. So I saw some things about some glitches that are in this version only as well. That might be possibly ba game breaking. Hmm. Oh. Maybe it's gonna be two more rings of the uh, automobile games before we do them. Yeah, that, that's where I, I that's where I look up the PC gaming wiki for. Uh, it should be avoidable or correctable. And um, yeah, if needed, I'll just play along on the original version. Or I might even have saves set in similar regions. So we'll just have to see how we do things then. Of course, fighting these things is not going to work as long as this thing is alive. I don't wonder, are they still going to fall with steel? Possible. And there we go. They probably only give a tiny amount. Actually, let's see. Uh, experience five five eighty. Yeah, okay, they don't give health. No nope. experience. So yeah, there is no reason to just go killing those things. Oh. Oh so, yeah, I guess that's why they don't give experience or like when you're flying them. Yeah. Ow. Freaking Wolverine these things to pieces. Thank you for coming, but no need. Let's see. Nope, oh, more of you. No, I didn't notice that one. Okay, any more of you idiots? Yep. And it seems that those kill and those executions, or however you would call them, are now at a, a chance of happening. Actually, that. Yeah, I'm. That might be the exec yeah, that's probably the execution chance with the, the sights there. This kind of makes them very good. <gasps> Let's see. So nothing else in this place then. Dust is hanging out over there for some reason. Hmm. Let's check here then. <laughs> So our marker is this way. Did the gun? Did the dumb bird get itself stuck or something? And what is that? Whatever is behind this door, getting in won't be easy. Let's see. Awaken the construct. Oh, hello there, Baldy. Stone. That's what we call the Stone of Construct Sentinels, to be specific. Uh, a sad thing destroying what a maker worked so hard to craft. But these days it must be done. You'll find the Construct Sentinels you need in the Lost Temple. Good luck to you. Horseman, may I beg you another favor? What is it this time, Pop? A compass that guided me to many wonders when I was young. I thought it lost, like the temple. But now that you've found one, the other will follow. Very well, Khan. I found your armor. Stun be praised! It brings back memories to see it again. 
What can you tell me about this place? I've been here but the once. The time I tried to tip a construct. A fine sport. Aye, it is. I could but nudge him an inch before my nerves gave out. The whole time I felt moodier watching. Okay, so he, he really is like the kid of the gang, huh? Yeah, and um, mute. She's blind! You're for the blind woman watching you! Yeah. Oh, I, I think we should not piss her off. <laughs> Probably, because seers have a way of sensing things even if they cannot see. And it could very well be that she isn't actually blind, but more covering her eyes to strengthen the spiritual connection or something. Oh, yeah. I need to settle on one way of holding this stupid thing instead of switching between all the time. Okay, just deal with the father. Okay, they're now level 7. But they still get cut down like weeds. And yeah, how you're supposed to hold these Xbox controllers is like this, with two fingers on the shoulders and triggers. But I, I usually only have hold them with one finger between them. So yeah, when I move, when I do... So usually I have my uh, pointer fingers on the triggers. So when I swap to use putting two fingers up there, I use the, my pointer fingers and end up using the ray, the, the Roth abilities instead. So yeah, now, now I just need to try and stick with two fingers. Make it a lot easier on myself. And I see a treasure chest on the map. There. And new shoes and we got some new weapons as well okay a lot more damage yeah just better damage overall so let's take those let's have a look now it's these again the bird ones and okay same amount of defense just more experience critical damage less arcane less health we don't really have much with critical, you know, extra critical chance, so critical damage isn't really of use to us at the moment. All right. Now, what is beyond door number three? More freaking crystals, of course. <laughs> Hello. It's another worker construct, I presume. Okay. Now then, can we just smash through these? Yes, we can. <laughs> and got a, got a park in here, though. Is there anything we can have you latch on to? No. So right. I just get off. No reason. Okay. Don't forget to get over here. Hmm? If the raven is still over there for some reason, maybe there's something you're missing that he was hiding. See. Okay, okay. He, he just got stuck or something. Well, he was just sitting somewhere. Okay, crystals there. Oh. Okay, now we've got to deal with tainted tiki masks or something. And it's oh, shielded. It's, it's the sentinel. Okay, we can get that stone. There we go, no more shields. And there's the carbon stone. Okay, now we can have the talisman made. Uh, 
first. We need a shotgun key for there. Where was that in the wall? There. No, that's not sticking out. It's been broken off. Okay, where was that? There's a lever. Probably for that gate. And we're not getting to it from here. Alright. Hmm. You have to say that the, the music of this reminds me a bit of Tomb Raider. Okay? Hmm. Okay, why are you there, Dust? No, there is... Here is progress. <laughs> Okay, one thing about this that I, I wanted to mention for a bit is that typically I don't like it when characters have full face masks on because you can't see them talking. Often that is done as a, yeah, a, a cheap trick to save on animation with some games. But with this, at the very least, you can see his jaw still moving. So even if you can't see his lips, you can still see that he's talking. Yep. And... I'm 50-50. It may really depend on the basically the mask design and if you can see them move the yard or not. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Can we pester you from over here? Yes, we can. <laughs> yeah, it's like trying. We did it here. Yep. <laughs> uh, I don't think you were made for swimming. Okay, it was healing though. So you can't cheese enemies from a distance and the Okay. That stuck his head in the wall between walls for a second. And another worker to activate. Hmm. Now then. Okay, that now we use that to lift to raise the platform or raise the platform or bridge. Yeah, look, yeah, it looks like more like a platform from up here. Then we bring this thing back over. And anything in the water, perhaps? Other than that, <laughs> that stupid construct that we lured down. Wait, are these the moment vines a growth? Yeah, just normal vines, I'm thinking. How's my nose trying to itch again? Spending sneaking powder? Uh, it's, okay. I mean itching powder. Uh, hello there in the chat, in the chat uh, Bird Mac. Uh, okay. Hello. They say that there's a collectible in here somewhere. Let's have a look then. Ooh. Okay. Uh, welcome to the chat. Uh, doing well there? Uh, keep interrupting for Kier. Oh, hello. Where is this leading us? <laughs> Extra loot. Okay. Uh, hi, your co-host uh, co knows me as Nightwing. Okay. Oh. Hello, Nightwing! Well, welcome again, then. Uh, would, you mind, uh, would you rather me call you uh, Bird Mac or Nightwing as well, then? <laughs> Come on, Deaths. No need to be... <laughs> Okay. 
Oh, oh this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, that's a new type. <laughs> Who's in trouble now, huh? <laughs> and that's that. Except for one dumbass. Yep, that's five more dumbasses. <laughs> I don't think we're even taking damage. Hello there. Okay. Want this one for Christmas? Yeah, it would be pretty pricey. And, okay, Mac is good, okay. Let's see then. Oh. Game seems to start... No, okay, that's the, that's the game shaking from just moving this giant ass thing around. And hello there. Some new pauldrons. Let's see. New sites with a lot more damage. Pe oh, that. Okay, we're taking that. Less to less than these, but more in total. Let's see. 76. Yeah, that's more. A lot more damage. Piercing and damage, the, even. Okay, a lot more damage and strength. So we're putting those on. And again, some we're already finding something that our class is what we found our what we bought. Uh, that, that's always a risk with uh, RPG games that you buy something, and then five seconds later you find something that's better already. Yeah. Uh, we... Okay. Uh, see you later then, Mac. Uh, thanks for watching. You're safe, man! Okay. Oh, I, I actually missed that that was there. Let's smash that as well. well. There we go. Okay. Would there be anything of interest down there? It doesn't seem like it has a any f openings. Okay. Well, that's easy enough to get. And just put A in B. And be done. Oh, hello. Agent. Yep, new armor. Miss. Yes. Okay. Yeah. With with fast and agile characters like Death, I typically prefer to go with speedy attacks as well. Uh, where is that one here? To dislodge? Oh, I oh I see already. Probably missed it happening, but I'm guessing when we activate this one. The heck did I hit there? The heck did I not... Was I really... Was my shot really blocked by that block here? But, yeah. It's an airlock system. <laughs> and the key that we need. And the way out. All right. And then we can just go over the gate. <gasps> Easy enough. And we have no further need of that one, so we can just go back and open up the door. Are we going to have to use that construct to get through a lot of this place? Or do we have just have to leave it there? Uh, yeah, we're, we're just, no, we can just go over the ceiling here. 
I can never I can never see a character do this and not think of Rayman. Because Rayman was the very first uh, character in game that I so ever saw uh, who being able to climb along the ceiling like that. Oh. Yeah, these two's asses. And then again, do construct even half asses. <laughs> okay, that was them despawning. Yeah. It's... Mitty, what do you find? Uh, just normal pair. It does more normal damage, but it, they do less piercing damage, so it's less in total. But we do have something here. Let's see. Uh, okay, that's just no. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I get the feeling that we need... Yeah, we're going to need to bring the big boy along. I might... I might try streaming without my glasses on. Because it does add a bit of annoyance on my ears with having them both. Uh, <laughs> wrong button. And yeah, it's not like my sight is absolutely terrible without. So yeah, next time let's try without my glasses. And again, I, I have been wearing them a bit more as well today. Because they have, these, these earphones have become my go-to when it comes uh, to everything. Well, everything dealing with uh, Discord. Probably, I imagine you and you playing without them and enter a Mr. Muldoon situation. <laughs> and my eyesight is not that terrible. Oh, you, you know what character is. That is good, good. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Magoo. Magoo, was it? Right. Okay. Let's first grab the goodie over here. Then we'll cross the ravine. Pardon again. Hmm. And the map. Not, uh, not, not essential, but useful, yeah. But yeah, on my eyesight, uh, it's not ab it's not absolutely terrible. It's more uh, what which would it be? But I, I always can get it a bit confused what the effects are with short or far sightedness. Like with short sightedness, you have no uh, what is the word? No clear vision when you're looking at something far away. I think. Yeah, and I'm so short sighted. I basically, if I wanna, if I come to play a game without my glasses. I basically need to be, have my face at the screen to see. Okay, but yeah, I, I, up close I have no issue with seeing things. It has, it's at distance that things become more foggy. So you're or not really foggy, foggy, hazy more. Yeah, you might be foresighted maybe, but... I don't know that uh, I need to gloss glosses to see up close and far away. Okay. It was only like 10 years or so ago that uh, we realized that I might need glasses and we've got two of those heads to fight this time. And funnily enough, it wasn't even on me getting my eyes checked, it was with my mother. <laughs> and, oh god. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't know. But when I got after, they said to me to the eye doctor, but it's still just the thought I was uh, colorblind. I've got a minute. Now, I don't mean I'm optimistic of colorblind. I have really strong photovision. However, my eye was very, very close to the other. I didn't mean to be able to it. And again, it's still not about how the heck. Did you, 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 did you,
And yeah, he actually told me to deliver a message to get the new car, the equipment. He was not pleased by all the school doctors. And yes, I did tell her to give her the message. And she was very confused. I think the Sentinels try are trying to resurrect the other constructs that we have destroyed or something. We're trying to summon up more. But yeah, with me it was the case that uh, my I think it was my mother getting her her glasses checked out, and just as a random test, she uh, either asked either asked me to read out a text that was far away at the. You know, just outside across the street and such. Or, to, uh, or maybe I commented that it was a bit hazy to me, and yeah, it is, it's resurrecting it. Okay, it takes a bit to reload the pistol. Oh, he hello, big boy. Must champion. Uh, here we go then. Okay, a bit short-lived, but still, that, that did a lot of damage. Oh, not enough to deal with these, though. Oh, yep. And again, I pressed the wrong buttons. Okay, ugly Aku Aku. We have enough of these, let's use one of them. Oh, it worked. The Sentinel was vulnerable there. Those are called for champion! Yeah. Ow. Are you going to try any... Ow. Actually, let's get a bit of reinforcements, just as distractions. Cause, yeah, that's a that's some pitiful damage compared to what we can put out, and and they're gone already. Ow! There. Are you going to reveal yourself now? Yes, you are. There we go. And just finish this one off. There we go. That was a good fight. Yeah, there I left them. But uh, yeah, I did that without my glasses on and no much not much of a real difference. Oh, hello there. Almost missed those. Hmm. Those look pretty fancy. If the model in game if yeah, in the mod if the model on the ground is the same or similar to what we'll be getting when it's equipped. So let's take a look. What is Gauntlets of Frost? Okay, yeah, Gauntlets are also fast. Cold. Okay, they're same damage, but they deal frost as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that's one way to. <laughs> There's no way that you'll be able to do anything else when wearing those. <laughs> Who's up for boxing? Let's see. More critical damage, but less everything else. Not worth it. More... Less strength, but more defense. I'm, ba I'm ga basically going to assume that every point of strength adds like one damage or something. Probably more, but oh well. And we're taking those, even though they're only just a different color. And well, plus 10 uh, damage. Or defense. Okay. Oh, uh, hmm. Yeah, be careful now. Oh, I see what. <gasps> there we go. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll 
obvious what we have to do here as well. Parkour! And hello, what is that over there? Wind chimes? Yeah, below. Where's that? What is this? Oh, it's the compass. Need more, uh... Where the... Why the hell do you have you... Is all of your stuff all over this freaking plane thing? Or Karn? Yeah, Karn it was. Karn! Yeah, yeah we, we already know one Kane, and he is a completely different character and a lot more competent than uh, this Karn. <laughs> Gentlemen treasures. When lost or searching for wonders, this compass can guide you in the right direction. It's always useful to have a compass at hand. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I even have a small one attached to my uh, to my winter coat. Partially as a way of identifying that it has mine, because my brother has an identical one. No. <laughs> we should then, keep yeah. it open for the lost. Yeah, as well, yeah. But yeah, it, it's just attached to one of the sides of the hood of it. it. Makes it very easy to identify. Oh, hello there. We're sort of sticking this key down their necks like this every time. That, that, that gave me stupid money, Nick. <laughs> now then... Hmm. What do we do here? I'm not seeing any place to park. We clearly have to go up. Is there... Uh, here we can... Okay, we need to bring it up. That way? Okay. I just realized, how hard is his nails? Very probably. Yes, yeah, but the other day you're making sparks. Hmm. Then again, he is a half angel, half demon hybrid. So overall, he'd be pretty damn tough. <laughs> Okay, there's two of these. How do we... Oh, here we go. Farting yet again. Oh, stay in there, you. Okay. Hello. <laughs> And then we just put both of these in the right spots. Put you here. That opens up the door. And the pathway. And oh, hello, there's also some. Okay, I think I see it now. Let's get on you again for a moment. <laughs> move you to this one to open up this gate so the other one can pass by. A simple, yeah, passing the stick from one to the other type. Uh, what are those called again? Uh, in sports. Mm. Good question. <laughs> Completely blanking on that. Passing the torch? Uh, it, it is... It is that type of... Uh, it's stuttery there. It is that... Oh, that... Okay. That's how we pass. Uh, where it's a marathon with multiple uh, people <laughs> and they pass along the stick to signify who is uh, yeah, the next carrier, so to speak. 
It is a. It ends in. It, it ends in a arathon, like many of those of the similar uh, sports. Yeah, I'm just blanking on which specifically it is. Also, there's loot down there. Some more boots, some potions, a pit. All right. We are nearing the two hour mark. Right. Unless there is a boss, we can probably finish this up. And yeah, overall the game is running a lot better. I'll, I'll just have to keep that. Oh. Is this? No, that's not the end. Quite a distance to go. No. Wrong. Yeah. The reason I typically have my only two fingers at the top of the uh, controller is because often the uh, shoulder buttons aren't really in the active use. So, you know, to rest my hands a bit because my hands are not used to putting four, four, uh, four fingers on the shoulders, I, <laughs> I just put two there when I'm not in combat. Which does mean that when we do go into combat, I make that mistake again. Eh? <gasps> okay, we'll, we'll not be finishing this off in this stream, I think. But we'll still get pretty close. Still good for distractions. Health. Give me those blades. Nope, big boys. I think this is the first time that they're actively teleporting in like that. Ow. That back. It's not actually giving that much health. Potion, just for security's sake. And the previous game was very stingy with giving out free health potions, which also added a bit to the difficulty. You just don't stop swiping, don't you? There we go. Keep accidentally switching targets. Yeah, you were just watching, huh? <laughs> okay. That just means I have you all to myself right now. Okay. So I can already hear the little bastards coming. probably bring these out more often. Yep. Come on. Why can I not pluck you out? I've constantly clicked there. I don't know. With, with war, plucking those out of the uh, small enemies like that out of the sky was pretty damn easy. So I'm not really sure why death has more issues with that. But it's all a bit smaller than war. Hmm. 
and yeah, it's either that. Remember, War has is quite taller and have massive hands. Yeah. else here? Those beams, so there probably is. <laughs> Outright skip one of them. And okay, another page of the Book of the Dead. I think we're at about four of those now. Oh, three. <laughs> Pardon yet, yet again. Seems I'm a what bit burpy again have? today. You need a path. Okay. More of the oh, oh. That's a yeah, corrupted champions. Okay, these are going to be a bit more of an issue. Wait, don't like is that the wrong Just the corruption taking hold on them. Ow, ow. Wow. Did, did I get hurt during the teleport slash there? Okay, it, 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 ow. I'm not going to need to upgrade that teleport slash a bunch. Because it's not actually healing that much at the moment, but it's probably not meant to re heal a massive amount. Now, now the little ones are coming out to play. There, spark off. Okay, for a moment I thought he got thrown around there. Uh, no, there was the finishing blow on the big one. So the camera automatically swapped to the next target. Who was across who was in the process of being thrown across the room. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, the two-hour timer was going off already for about a minute. Okay, let's just take a look at this next room, and then we'll end it. Uh, hmm, okay, this... Yeah, that looks very much like a boss arena. So, let's put up a save. And... Yeah. <laughs> that, this, this is going a lot smoother than last week's attempt. Oh yeah, that... I mean, definitely it's, it's been much smoother this time. Sure, if it had two, I had two times it started to stutter. That uh, annoying again, but only two times. They had otherwise two times it got very pixelated, but only short moment. Okay. So, still better than last time. Yeah, I'll look into fixing those shadows, if that can be done. That wasn't something that sh uh, showed up on uh, PC Gaming Wiki as an issue. But, yeah, it could just be that it happens with certain systems and such. Uh, but, yeah then. Uh, in two days, we'll continue with this, and, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's nothing really much else to add, so, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, Mac, and anyone else who has been watching now or later. And as always, thank you especially, Vakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And, yeah, like I said, in two days we'll continue with this. But, as always, until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for seagulls. <laughs>